Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Wednesday, it's July 15th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and this is really just a range day. We had a couple of legs down and then a couple of legs up. Uh, we never got outside the overnight lows or highs. Technically, the overnight lows are here, but um, the gap is down here, so you may say we got outside those lows temporarily, but what prices were really probably trying to do here were, was fill this gap and they just couldn't do it. Um, they never really got any real momentum to the upside either. And again, the after, after lunch, it was similar to yesterday where we just zoom up and zoom down, zoom up. And it gets hard to trade when it gets like that. Although there was a two tier channel that was working up until here. And that really took you into two o'clock. So if you just stayed with this channel, really through two o'clock you didn't get a lot of trades really but if you just stayed with that channel it kept you on the right side until late in the afternoon so and you just didn't you didn't get a setup back down here so just something to think about but i'm going to back out we'll go through the trades but you can see the first leg was right here and then the second leg would be right here and we pretty much made a perfect move measured move down that's when we got that big correction right there just move this over so it'd be out of the way. And you can see we got almost a perfect measured move there before we bounced. And then we got another leg down from there. So notice we had pretty much had two measured legs. We, we couldn't quite get one and we bounced and then went lower. So that one really didn't play out too well. But you'd want to measure this leg too. And then once we started lower here, there's your other measured leg. You can see we went a little further than that, slightly further. So, and there's a, oops. And then there's that leg up. And from there, we had another perfect measured leg up to there. We continued to go higher, but that gave you a nice target right there before that little correction came in. So that was the measured legs that I saw that worked out pretty well. All of them gave you a, a really good target. So there's actually two legs right here as well. Made that. The heck? Let's see here. I don't know what's going on there, but let's try that again. Huh, that's really odd. Huh. Wow, I've never seen that happen before. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see if we get it from over here. Maybe it's something to do with it. Hmm, I've never seen that happen anyway. You got a leg down, a little correction, and another measured leg down right there. And if you measure those whole two legs, that gets pretty close to down here. So use those measured legs because they'll really help you. I'm going to back out a little more and we'll talk about the trades. Uh, seven o'clock came, where was seven o'clock? Seven o'clock came right in through here as we were ending this. Notice you, you, were, you got a spike in channel up. This is probably a little bit tighter than that. And we got an overshoot. And it wasn't long till we got the break, a new high, and then we sold off. So it worked out really good. But 7 o'clock came right in here. And there's just not really any good setups here. You might have thought about going short there, but I just think it's dangerous with uh, this being an uptrend. It's just too early to go short yet. Then you get this, we kind of rock it down, we come back, and then you get this little short-term trend here. There's, there's just no, we did break higher and turn down right here. But again, I think it's a little too... Risky to go short, and you don't get a lower high till here. There's actually a little two-legged move up there, and I did not mark this trade, but this is a great uh, where there's a hidden second entry. Notice prices are moving up, then you get your correction, then you get your second leg up, and then prices turn back down. Well, if you went to a smaller chart, you'd see a first entry here and a second entry here, and that's what a hidden second entry is. So that's one that you could possibly take if you saw that. I'm going to go ahead and mark it green because... That's a little too advanced for most of you at this point. But when you become a really, when you get really good at this, you'll see those. 
And there's times when you might take them and times when you might not. And it's, it's, it's just hard to explain. There's no written rules that will give you a good a good strategy on that. So it's really just based off feel and experience. So that's the reason I, I'm only going to mark that green. But notice your new high first entry and then you get a failed second entry long right here. So you, and that's coming back right off the EMA. So you might go short right there. Notice we're still making lower lows and lower highs and we're looking for that measured move, which is on down here. So I like going short right there. And it doesn't matter what your signal bar looks like because it's a failed second entry long. So it's a little bit of a trap. It, it rocketed on down pretty quick and then corrected and then pushed on down a little further. It didn't really take off like you'd expect uh, or you'd want it to on a trap like that, but it still works. And then you get a little double test here. Notice we made those highs. We come back and test them once. Then we come back and test them twice. And notice we're making lower lows and lower highs here. And that's a nice uh, bearish bar. you got plenty of room to get out. It's right off the EMA as well. And look at it go. Nice move down. And then we bounce off the low end of the channel. And you really just don't get a good chance to go back. You, you know, you might say, hey, I'm going to try to pick a bottom here. It's right off the lower channel, trend line, trend channel line, but I just think it's risky. And so you're better off to wait on a higher low, and you just don't get that. You don't get a higher low right here, and now you're looking to go short again. And I wouldn't take that first entry. Uh, it's technically a second entry if you count this little move down, but that looks like one leg up. So wait on at least a lower high, which comes right here. And you could use either one of those because they're – they have matching highs, so only problem is this is you're going short right back into the EMA. So I'd wait on a failed second entry long, and that comes here. But again, you're just it's just not setting up very good. So there's just no short here. There's no not on my chart anyway. So and then you actually break lower, come back, and still you don't get a setup. And then finally you get a lower high off this high right here, right off the trend line, big bearish bar. That's where you want to go short. And notice there's two legs down right there. Then you bounce off the midline. First entry, second entry. That's the first really clear-cut, easy trade. And this one doesn't even go very far. There's a lower high here. And you could have taken that lower high. I didn't mark yet, but you should have been. You should have taken this trade. But if you didn't, you could still enter here. It breaks higher and turns it down. And notice we make a little double bottom, then a higher low, and then a failed second entry short. And we did have a break of our trend line back here. And now we've got a couple of legs down. And so when you get this failure right here, there's a good chance we're going higher. And off it goes. And really, that's the only chance you get on this little correction here. There is a second entry long right here. You might take that one, but we're a long way away from the EMA. And that's one tick away from being a doji on my chart. And notice how we're just kind of going sideways. And a couple of these don't have any stems. Uh, your chart might look a little different. So it's one of those you could, you know, you could probably argue for it to at least be green and aggressive. It could, if you had a little better setup there, you could take that trade as a second entry long. I, I just think it, I just don't like it because it's a little too far from the EMA as well. But we shoot on up, two legs back up. So now you got to close outside, two legs to a new high. And guess what? It just kind of rolls over. And there is a failed second entry long here, but just look how congestive that is that's, that's a little range right there and you don't want to be going short right into those into that support right there but notice what happens it pushes through pulls back notice this is basically a double top so first entry second entry and that's the way i looked at that if it breaks lower right there it's probably going to trap some people and then it takes on off you don't want to enter way down here. You're getting too far. Again, you're getting too far away from it. There's some. That's a decent signal bar. This is a decent signal bar. Even this is a good signal bar. But look what happens right here. Of course, we are to the other side of this channel. But you don't know this. Hadn't, this channel hadn't really been confirmed yet. You could you could make an argument for this trend line, but you don't really know where the other side's going to be. There's not enough data in here for a midline, so you don't know that that's going to bounce, that that's the other side at this point. There's not enough price action. So you'd just be guessing 
buying right there and there's no break of this channel all the way down but notice this is the first break and then you get two legs down then it corrects so there's a second entry short right here not a very good signal on, on mine it doesn't work anyway it pushes higher I'd wait for that close outside and the new high and you you get it right there you don't quite get a new high but that's okay because this is a this is just a shorter term and the bigger patterns taking over but notice this you move down then you get a first entry and a second entry right off the EMA right off the midline it's a lower high from here and off it goes and now it bounces right here so now you got a little evidence where this is you can probably see the midline starting to look okay too so when it comes back and gets right here it turns down right off this unfortunately I don't get a setup up here even my lower high is no good because it breaks lower and then turns up so you finally get a failed second entry long right here and it's right off that key entry point as well just draw that short-term trend line down through there it's actually a little bit different than that right there and it turns that back down and then we come back up again here and I don't have this one on there either but there's a little kind of a short-term trend line working up there and you get a little close outside and you uh, I, I mark this green it's just a first entry and it's not it's kind of in the middle of nowhere but it's the first break of this trend line coming down and so we're probably going to try a new low but because you're not back to the trend line the key entry point it makes it a little suspect so i just made it green i just think it's really risky right there but there's reasons to take it too because that is the first close outside this trend line and you're probably going to make an attempt at a new low and notice we came up short here and we came up about the same distance over there so that gave you you know if you see all that you might take that trade but again it's still aggressive you don't want to enter way down here and you don't want to buy yet really unless you get some kind of trap or something but notice what happens here you got a new low and you get a first entry and then you get a second entry that breaks lower and turns and goes up if it goes right back out that little two bar matching high you got plenty of room to get out before this trend line and we did overshoot down here notice that so we might just reverse and we end up making a double top and a bearish bar with a little room back to the EMA I like that one then you get the failed second entry long if it turns below that is is long the key here is you got to have enough room to get out before you get back to the trend line which you do you got plenty there and then it bounces right at the key entry point on a second entry notice that's a double top so a first entry second entry remember double tops you can count them as a new high or a first entry so when you get this second entry long with a nice bullish bar just go long there off it goes you come back to the midline right here but no setup that's, you don't want to go long above either one of those and this is really tempting right here to go short on that little trap but it's an uptrend and it could push up again but notice what happens it makes a new eye it tries to go higher once twice it fails you still got a little room back to the EMA plenty of room I like going short there prices are probably coming at least to the midline and maybe all the way back down here but instead it bounces right there and takes off again so you might play that play right there one tick above that it's a little aggressive but that's twice in a row we bounced right off that midline so the market's looking a little strong and we run up there's a trap right here but you don't want to go short it breaks higher and turns down but you don't want to go short right into the EMA and the midline there together it works but you can see it pulls back drops the better play is just to wait till you get to here and that's really a double top so first entry second entry a nice bullish bar look at it go 
and then you you start working sideways here again you got to be careful this is an uptrend and so you need a really good setup to go short you don't get one but you also don't really get a good setup to go long here either second entry long right there signal bar is no good another second entry long right there first second and then this is actually a third and each one keeps breaking higher and going lower so you don't want to go long and you just never get another short set up you might look at that as a failed second entry short I mean long and try to go short but you don't have much room left so it's a little risky you don't know that it's going to take off like that you had a little close outside but I don't know if that's good enough to be convincing or not and look we get a close outside here and then we end up pushing higher to a new high so this looks like the first convincing close outside to me so and prices just keep working lower here you get your break a couple of legs down it reverses but again I don't see anything you know this takes you right into two o'clock so I don't see anything up here um, I don't think you want to go long right here too congestive not back to the key entry point I don't see any shorts up here that set up so again you needed to find the, the channels and try to stay with them and and within those use your shorter term stuff just to kind of get an idea of when how things are playing out but um, this is not as bad as it was yesterday but it's similar you get these huge moves in each direction especially right up in here in the afternoon you know you you rock it up and then you rock it down you rock it up you rock it down it's just it's hard to trade that you've got to be able to find these these channels to be able to play these to know what's going on because this just looks like it's sideways stuff but it's really an uptrend and it's just pretty it's just a pretty volatile one the same thing here this this looks like a range day but there's two clear channels working lower here and so if you find those, it really helps you, um, it really helps you kind of keep you on the right side and help you know what's going on. Even then, notice how it bounces in funny spots and turns down. It bounces high, turns down low before it gets back. Same thing here. It does it twice in a row. It bounces early and then turns down early. And so that just makes it really hard to trade because it's not, it, it's not, real I'm trying to think of the right word it's not orderly pr price action the price action still there and it's working but it's not as orderly as we'd like it to be that makes it easier to trade so I hope that makes sense I mean you, you like a strong trend down with a very clear trend line that gives you second entries off of it every time when you get that it's pretty straightforward and we're just not getting that we're still getting some nice trends but they're difficult trends because they're just all over the place so but the price action is still there it's still readable it's just a little more you just got to be a little better at it so uh, I told as I stated in the mid-morning chart the thing you got to do when it's like this do not be so eager to trade most of you are steadily trying to chase a trade on every single bar that prints Find these key entry points and wait on them or, wait, or watch for traps. A lot of the best trades today were traps, failed second entries. Because you didn't get, it's because I didn't get good signal bars. Maybe you got some better signal bars in some places. But the key, what I'm go back, going back to what I'm trying to tell you is don't be so eager to enter a trade. If you're not sure what's going on and you take a trade, guess what? You're gambling. And gamblers don't make it in this business. You have to be able to read this price chart and you have to be pretty confident in it and you're right. You basically have to be right and then you still have to get your timing right. So it's it's not just knowing the direction and where prices are heading. It's timing it to get on and that's when the patterns come in. So understand we're not pattern traders. We're trading the chart, but we use the patterns to help us narrow down our entry and timing. And when you get when you know where the price action is going because you can read the chart and you know where the key entry point is so you're just waiting on prices to get there and then when they get there then you're just waiting on the setup that we use that's the three things that you got to try to concentrate on and if you don't understand where these channels are you're just 
you're going to get whipsawed and fooled and, and you're going to have a lot of losing trade. So be patient. Wait till you understand what's going on and you can see it. And if you can't see it and don't understand, then the, the trade is no trade at all. Because you'd rather take no trade than gamble and have a loser. No trade is bet is a no trade is better than a losing trade all day long. So just keep that in mind. But we're at 20 minutes. I'm gonna wrap it up. Hope you had a good trading day. We'll be back tomorrow and wrap up another week. Believe it or not, tomorrow's Thursday. I just don't know where the time's going. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and we'll see you next time.